Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Kuroko no Basket 2, episode 21. And um, this game, j this this episode continues the game between uh, Saren and Murasaki, Saren and Murasaki Bar, pretty much Murasaki Bar, no one else really does much, uh, between Saren and Yosen. And, oh, no, that's not true. You have Okamura in there doing some things. Because Kagami got out jumped by him. At, well, not not so much out jumped as it was. He just wasn't able to get past him. Okamura was just too strong, too tall, and too strong for him. Um, but yeah, he ends up scoring over Kagami. Kuroko gets the ball, does like freaking Tamari's wind scythe jutsu from Naruto. <laughs> he he, he gets, shoots the ball. It's literally Tamari's wind scythe jutsu. That, that's exactly what it is. He spins, wind gets created, and then he just fires. All right, so he did that, um, but I mean, it doesn't really work because they, they were trying to do a quick counterattack, and it doesn't work because Murasaki Bar is already back on defense. And you're and you're wondering how is someone that tall already back on defense that quickly? Turns out he never left in the first place because Murasaki Bar, the way he plays, is that he doesn't come up for offense. He just stays on his half of the court and just plays defense a hundred percent of the time. Alright, so with with him back there, it's pretty much impossible for Saren to ever have a counterattack. Pretty much. I think they got one off in this episode. Yeah, they got one counterattack. Um, but other than, I mean, the first quarter, the first quarter, alright? The first quarter, Saren gets shut out completely. Just shut out, alright? Um, they had some attempt. They had some moments where they tried to do stuff, like they got this one stop at the end, thanks to Tepe. Because um, he had been, before the Winter Cup, he had been working on his grip and uh, improving that, so he was able to get a rebound with the Vice Claw. Um, but thanks to Tepe, thanks to Kagami, and th mainly thanks to Kuroko. Kuroko, he, if, not, if not for this dude, Saren would be still getting shut out, all right? Because he came up with this plan to score. Using his shooting that he was able to, his shooting ability he was able to improve thanks to Almine, okay? And this point it comes up with starts with Tepe using the right of postponement to get around Murasaki Bara and get to Kagami. It looks like it's going to be an alley oop, but Murasaki Bara is able to get right over to Kagami quickly. All right, and he goes up to block Kagami, but then Kagami passes to Kuroko, and this is when Kuroko uses his vanishing shot. All right, he shoots the ball, completely disappears. Murasaki Bara actually got there to block it, but and he put his hands up, but he didn't. He didn't do anything. The ball just like goes to ruin practically, and he scores. So Kuroko, believe it or not, scored Saren's first points. All right, and by mixing together shooting and passing and being unpredictable, Kuroko was pretty much he was able to get Saren rolling. And one of the things that happened was the the one counterattack I was talking about was um, uh, it was some. I don't. I remember Hugo got the ball somehow, and he like passed it in, bet or Kagami or someone got the ball, and they threw it between Murasaki Bara's legs, and then Kuroko got it, and then um, he did the vanishing shot. Murasaki Bara tried to block it from behind, but that didn't work, and he still uh, scored. So that he got, he started to get annoyed. But the, oh yeah, I remember now. Tepe got a rebound and passed it out because Kagami had finally managed to stop Okamura, you know. So. And Tepe was able to get a rebound, and that's when uh, that scene happened. Kuroko managed to get the vanishing shot off, even though Murasaki like Bar is blocking from behind. And yeah, and that's that's how the ha the half ended, the first half, I think. That's how the first half ended. And Murasaki, you could tell in his voice, he was just, in his facial expression, Murasaki Bar was starting to get annoyed. He was starting to get real annoyed because he couldn't stop Kuroko. Kuroko, of all people, he couldn't stop Kuroko from making a shot. Um, but he ends up calming down during the half. Yosen's coach is talking with all the Yosen players, and she figures out that Kuroko is going to sit down uh, at the beginning of the half. And they're and Yosen's wondering, well, can't I mean they, he's stating against Yosen, right? Can he use misdirection overflow against us? She's like, nah, nah, he can't use misdirection overflow because we have a strong inside game, all right? So it's it's not going to work on us, which is correct. Rico ends up confirming that. And uh, Yosin's coach also predicts the, predicts the matchups for the second half, 
Kagami is going to take on Tatsuya and Tepe is going to take on Murasaki Bara. And uh, that's that's actually pretty much it for this episode, really. I mean, there's really there's not usually that much to talk about with Kuroko except for specific plays, because it's you know it's just a basketball game. Like, <laughs> like I could just do play by play commentary and talk for 20 minutes, like, but it's like, why? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty. It's pretty much all there is to talk about. Um, so overall, um. I'll give this episode like a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10, something like that. Because Kuroko's vanishing shot was cool. Sigma Sakibara was cool. Him, just him in general. Sakibara is just really freaking good. And then seeing even him start to get annoyed. Because he usually just doesn't care about anything, really. He doesn't care about anything, but he's actually starting to show emotion now. And actually get annoyed because he can't block Kuroko. Uh, so you should see some changes in Sakibara soon. Um... In the preview for the next episode, Tatsuya, Tatsuya mentioned something about a mirage, something like that, so that's a hint for what's going to happen with him. Um, but yeah, that's really it. So like I said, this episode gets like a 8 out of 10, around there, 7.5, 8 out of 10, around there. So it was a, it was a pretty good episode, i say. So yeah, that's, that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>